Okay, we are starting with Hugh Grant, mm -hmm. who told everyone on X that he doesn't remember making out with Real Housewife. Du What's her name? Luanne Luan Delisette. Luanne Delisette. <laughs> Somebody's watching. Sorry. Somebody knows a lot about the Real Housewives here. Uh, after she claimed that they got hot and heavy one night in the Hamptons. So this got us thinking, would you be offended if somebody uh, couldn't remember <laughs> make out with her? <laughs> oh, oh, we have not afraid to share her opinion. We <laughs> love her. Like, no, I'd be very offended. Listen, there are two reasons why a person doesn't remember kissing you. Either they have kissed a lot of people, which <laughs> in Hugh Grant's case, that could be possible. I bet. Or they want to delete you from their mental Rolodex and be as far away as possible. And just the way he answered, I think, it, I think it's the latter. I think he just kind of doesn't want to own that he kissed her at a party. Perhaps he had a few libations and doesn't want to be like, yeah, I kissed her. Well, but that's is, what it sounds like. This is a guy who owned up to being arrested when he... Right, right. that's, that's true, actually. Exactly. So, exactly. so he'll own the prostitute, but not Luann? Well, that's why, that's why I think it's a combination <laughs> of one Luan. thing. It's a combination of two things, like yeah. where he's just kissed a lot of people. He's lived a fulsome life. Mm -hmm. And maybe just like, ah, oh, it's a housewife. Not quite too sure if I remember that. I think it's a combination. Of them. Or you know what? Wife. He could have had a concussion because I had a concussion <laughs> in January. <laughs> I'm serious. No, let me tell you. I I I think there's people that I've kissed that I don't remember. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you blaming it on the concussion though? I blame it a lot of things on the concussion. <laughs> when I meet someone and I don't recognize them, or no, I'm like, I had a concussion in January. <gasps> oh That's my the accident. Goodness. Anyway, oh no, but in all in gosh. real life, yeah. Yeah. I feel like there are people that I don't remember. Yeah, I, I have the same thing. Most makeout sessions I vividly remember. And I, I, here's the thing, can we just take a moment for the makeout session? Oh, because I feel like it's a yeah. death. Thank you, thank you. And I think we don't realize how open and fun and freewheeling we were at one point in time. And then one day those days just die. So if you're in the oh throes God, of those die. days, so appreciate the them, because they might yeah, die. Oh, yes, oh, it is. Like a oh, very romantic gone. notion from a woman who's been married a long time. They're those ones, they just go yeah. to die. <laughs> I have a vivid memory of being at El Convento Rico here in <gasps> Toronto, and oh. I was having a spicy salsa session with a complete stranger. He didn't speak a lot of English. Nice. We had a little bit of a makeout session, and then at the end, he said to me, um, can I give you my number? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt really, I was just like, that's it. This is good. This is very nice. And I, I will now. tell you that if I walked up, to, if I, I could not pick out that guy in a lineup. If I, really? if I, oh my if God. I but don't you also feel really embarrassed for Luann? Because clearly she told this story because she thought it was a humble brag with her friends. Like, oh my God, I made out with <laughs> Hugh Grant. And I've actually seen this type of situation blow up in someone's face in real time. But I don't like to gossip unless you guys want to hear the yes, story. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, I'm on the red carpet. I was an entertainment reporter at the time. There's another very beautiful entertainment reporter, and she's bragging about having a relationship with an A-list star. Do you want to know his <gasps> name? Yes! <laughs> Gerard Butler. Oh! So, so she's like, yeah, Gerard and I got really close, and we're on the red carpet for a Gerard Butler movie, so he's going to arrive, right? Oh, no, so I know. So she's bragging, oh. and we're all like, oh, my gosh, we're kind of jealous. And then he arrives. His black SUV arrives. He stops. He gets out. He talks to the first reporter, the second reporter, and then, like an express bus, he starts passing her by. <gasps> Right? So then she has a moment of desperation. She's like, Jerry. She calls him Jerry. <laughs> oh my God. And this is all he gave her. He gave her like a. Yeah, yeah, I gave her like a peace sign, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this was so embarrassing because she was clearly trying to impress us and clearly he didn't want to own his little dalliance with her. And I think that's exactly what's happening to Luann. She was like bragging and then he's kind of like, yeah, I think maybe I kissed her. I don't really know. I don't really talk about I, think, I still think it's a badge of honor for Luann because she Is kissed it? Hugh. Yes, it's Hugh Grant. No. Have you guys seen Hugh Grant at all on this press tour? I can't even tell you the name of the movie he's doing. But <laughs> Which might not be very effective, but he has been a charm <laughs> bomb. He has been yes. so good. He's fine. I enjoy him so much. So if Hugh, if you want to kiss me and forget about it, I'm All okay good. with that. <laughs> All right. Worth it. All All right. Hashtag worth it. Hashtag. The memory is just for me. Yeah. Hey, you. Come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.